Well, good morning, everybody. Warren and I are up, and we're getting breakfast going here this morning. And I bet you can tell what we're going to have. I'm going to chop that up. We're going to add in some milk and flour and seasoned salt and pepper and basil and Worcestershire sauce and make up some biscuits here. These are just frozen. I'm going to put them in the oven on warm for a long time here. We have some coffee going. Everyone else is still sleeping this morning, but it shouldn't be long. And they should start... Uh, they should start being up, and it's going to get kind of loud in here this morning, pretty early. You guys mind if I film? Whoa, my hair. <laughs> you have no hair to file. Okay, everybody look good this morning. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's gonna shoot the biggest buck today? <laughs> wow, everyone is everyone's uh <laughs> thinking <laughs> Amber's gonna do it. Oh <laughs> Everybody's getting in on the action of hunting. You should see my new Sitka jacket downstairs. Nice hat, Someone Amber. You Thanks. You look cute. You came in, you came, oh, you never mind, you had a hoodie. Ooh, is it cold? What? Oh, good morning. Maria and Joe are up so early. My paper chain. Yes, Maria wanted to show. She made a paper chain 41 days to Christmas when she made this, right? Yep. <laughs> it took a while. It definitely Thank looks you. like hunting camp around here. Yeah, it does. <laughs> we got mattresses and blaze orange and fleet farm bags just about everywhere. Okay, so, oh my goodness, you guys, I completely underestimated how long this project was going to take because I completely underestimated how much junk was stashed into every single corner of the boys' room. So I realize I have not gotten on the camera at all here today, and I still have not, honestly, I still have not brushed my teeth or even combed my hair. I threw it in a ponytail when I was making breakfast this morning, and that's as far as it went. But what happened is, I think we started in here at about 9 o'clock. It's about noon. It's very, very close to noon right now. And like I said... Ooh, I almost dropped the camera. Like I said, I um I underestimated the time because of underestimating the amount of junk stashed in the corners. And then uh, what also happened is that I decided that Peter's we couldn't even get two of his drawers closed, so we pulled everything out of those two uh, dresser drawers. And one was like summer stuff, one was winter, and we put away almost all of his summer. I only kept up four pairs of shorts and then just a small, maybe about five t-shirts. Yep, those are all clean. You can wear any of those blaze hats you want. Okay. They're gonna go outside and they have to wear blaze hats. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> and did I say I kept up, I think about five or six t-shirts for him, kind of just like for the winter. And then what I wanted to do was that would allow him a little more space for winter things. But he didn't really have anything. He had three hoodies. One's pretty grungy and almost too small, and the other two were nice, and that was it for long sleeve clothes. Um, he has some church shirts, you know, like button down, but he's not going to wear that on a regular basis. So that turned into a bigger project because we decided to go through all of that. Then we had to decide what was 
like so bad that it had to be a grease rag and um and then what we could give to goodwill and stuff like that and then i see i have a great big smudge on my lens so i apologize for that but then also i went down to the basement pulled up all of um everything that i thought might fit joseph and peter so that took a long time and I don't know. I'm going to sit down on the bed for a moment here. So I'm not sure about how your kids are when they try on clothes. But um, I've had, like, kids they have that have very, very different uh, styles of wanting to try on clothes. Especially when it comes to the boys. So I have boys who put each thing on meticulously. They want to button every single button up, tuck it in, pull it out look in the mirror, look at the back, you know, everything, even at a young, young age. And it's like painfully slow. It just takes so long. And then I have the other spectrum, which is they get one pinky into the shirt and they're like, nope, mm -mm. there's no way this is going to fit. It's uncomfortable. I can tell already. <laughs> and so that also is painfully long because you never get a feel if anything even really fits them and nothing is comfortable that's what we were dealing with this morning <laughs> and so but we got some things peter found some things joe he's totally gung-ho to try on clothes it's no big deal he's like yeah look at me he loves it so anyway found some things that fit them i'm gonna throw that stuff in the wash i vacuumed in here we got everything just neat i am so excited for that the big question is, when this video goes up on my channel, is it still going to be clean? <laughs> when it goes up that day, I'll actually uh, snap a picture, and I'll use that as my community tab picture, okay? <laughs> That'll be fun to see what actually, what the room looks like um, in like two weeks when maybe this video gets up. Okay, everybody is starving. We had breakfast at like between 5 and 5.30 30 this morning, and we have not been snacking. I haven't had anything. I don't think Emily's had anything. Peter and Maria haven't had anything. Joseph ate all the fruit. <laughs> so we need to make some lunch, and then we need to get on with this day because I had huge plans for what was going to happen in this house today, and this bedroom was not necessarily one of those huge plans. We're finally getting to the part of the day that I think we're all going to really enjoy here. We're going to start to bake. <laughs> so Emily, she has been uh, entering 148? 148 recipes she has entered into the cookbook so far. Oops. And we are our goal is 150. So we have two more. We have those picked out. One is going to be apple crisp and the other is going to be... Homemade maple oh, syrup. Oh yeah, homemade maple syrup. So, um, which we usually refer to as homemade fake maple syrup <laughs> but it's still real syrup it's just not made from a tree what we're gonna bake today is a it's called mint cake that's it that's the name and it starts with a yellow cake mix and I'm going to add some mint extract to this and then I'm going to bake it and as soon, once it cools we're gonna put some toppings on it and it's gonna be delicious and I'm going to make something else because Warren doesn't like chocolate and mint. So once this comes out of the oven, we're going to put a cranberry cake in as well. So that's how the afternoon is going to go. And we have about three hours. 142, 242, three. Yes, we have about three to three and a half hours before the hunters come back in. There's only a few minutes left on the mint cake. And then I did make up a cranberry cake here for Warren. So I'm just going to get this put in here. This, You guys, it's another recipe that's going to be in the cookbook. I'm sure I've shown it here before it is so easy it makes a pretty dense cake because it's actually meant to have like a caramel sauce put over that's uh, it's not a thickened caramel sauce it's just kind of a very runny sauce that kind of soaks in um, but we never get to that point Warren doesn't really like the sauce that much I think and um, he eats it before I have a chance to make the sauce so anyway uh, we I just don't ever do that but it's, so like I said, it's kind of a dense cake. I always make it in a pie plate. I just feel like it bakes it up the best that way. And I'm just going to look at the recipe in the... Uh, and it says pour into grease 9-inch pie plate. Awesome. So the directions are actually going to be how I do it. Do you guys do that where you get a recipe and then you know all of your changes? 
but you never really write them down on the recipe. I do that all the time. So then as Emily's been entering recipes for the cookbook, she calls me and she's like, I know this is not how you normally do it. She's like, these are the ingredients you use, but how do you actually do this? So anyway, we've been editing and editing to make everything just right. All right, so we're at the point in the mint cake where we have to put holes into the cake. I'm making up the pudding, and but um, it's like sticking. <laughs> so Maria's lucky; she gets to eat the little bits that stick on there. The cranberry yeah, cake no here holes. is uh, all done hey. as well. So, oh my gosh! What? I just ate a little bit of the crumbs. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a good cake. Oh, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time. I could eat this whole thing without anything on it. Just, just, just the that minty. Little mint. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is my too. new birthday cake. Oh, that's wow. gonna be. Everyone's gonna hate me, though. I know. <laughs> we don't have a lot of chocolate mint lovers in our no. house. <laughs> well, maybe I'll make this like just a little. No, what? Who am I kidding? I'll just make the whole thing. The whole thing for you, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if you can tell through the camera, but the. Cool Whip frosting has a little bit of green food coloring in it, and then it also has a little bit of mint extract. Now, <laughs> I misread my own recipe, and I put the whole half teaspoon in originally of the mint extract into the cake batter, so then I just added a few more drips to the Cool Whip, cool Whip frosting. And then when we were shopping at Aldi the other day, I saw that they had these, and I knew I was making this cake, and I thought, wouldn't that be pretty? and just kind of really make it look extra fancy. Does it make it look extra fancy? Yeah, I yeah. had one. You had one too, didn't you? Anyway, that's what we're gonna be doing for supper. And then I have three of my freezer meals uh, going in the oven right now, hoping that those are going to be done in time. I'm looking up at the clock right now, I think that's the end of shooting hours, 4.30 is the time. So we should start seeing hunters here any moment. We got the first hunters back. You guys are back. Yep, we are. You got some stories. Yeah, we got a couple deer. Wow. Who got these? Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, both of them? No. Nope. No, I got this one. You got that one. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Congratulations. And, and this is Bo's first deer ever. Wow. And he did a perfect heart shot. Oh about, my gosh. About a hundred yard shot. That's and, awesome. Uh, they actually came in and they got spooked by a couple of grouse and the one cut through the swamp and popped out on the next shooting lane and I said, uh, Bjorn, take that one. And uh, he pulled up and I was watching through my scope and he shot and I could tell right away he had hit it really well. Uh -huh. And uh, it took off running and I looked back and the other one is standing in the other shooting lane. So I'm like, Bjorn, I'm going to take this one. So I swung around and aimed and shot and it fell right in its tracks. Super cool. Yep. Wow. That is a giant. Oh, buddy. Hey, you didn't have to sit real long this morning, did you? No, it was quarter to seven. Thanks. Six forty-one. Yeah. <laughs> Peter That's said. Awesome. They're, they're Look at how Jordan like. His first wow. Nice. 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 Wow. Heart shot at hundred yards. So curved. Nice. Yeah. Look how perfect wow, it is. That's a nice one, yeah. Sam. Yeah. You're gonna get head mount. Thank you. I don't got money for that. <laughs> I was thinking Christmas I might do gift. a uh, European uh, mount. Oh, I was thinking I want to look into that. So uh -huh. tell me the story. <laughs> Sam, you first. <laughs> so, first this morning. I was yeah. Saying, well, I couldn't even see the ends of my lanes. And <laughs> the corner right there. <laughs> that nice is a little short. Is, is that the only deer you saw all day? All day. <laughs> That's me. All day. <laughs> That's the only deer you saw? Yeah. Nothing this and then, evening at all. Really? No. Really? Okay. Your shot was the first one I heard almost. Yeah, that, I was the first shot that I heard. Oh. And then all of a sudden, like Coney line just started erupting, and like I would assume it was coming. Well, I saw all kinds of deer today. I saw. Um, hey, picture I saw me. Nine does. And uh, two bucks, but I think they're both this one. Okay. Um, 
right after Sam shot, I had two of those both run across um, my west lane. Yeah. Wow. Ew, look at how it's like curvy. Yeah. I think that is so cool. He's got some neat characters. I'm literally really. So this is what supper is shaping up to look like. And I actually just took these. So, okay, I want to give you guys a few pointers if you make freezer meals like this. It it's best if you take them out the day before and um, let them thaw in the fridge. We've got some massages going on in the back, yeah, in the background. <laughs> that sounds funny. Okay, so um, but today I didn't. I took these out probably at around noon, and I let them sit on the stove top while I was baking cakes and things, and then I just put them into the oven at 200 degrees for about 45 minutes and let them just kind of gradually thaw, and then I upped it to 350, no, then I upped it to 300 for about another hour-ish, I feel, and then I've had them at 6.30, they've been out for about 20 minutes, and then I just cranked it up to 400 and had it in like that. I kept them covered the whole time, except this one at the end I took off because I wanted it to kind of get a little crispy, but otherwise, that's it. So even if you do forget to take a you freezer meal out, you can here. still make it work oh, if you're going to be home and you can turn on your oven. We're also just having salad. And so I just mixed two bags of lettuce together, threw some ranch on it, there's some Parmesan cheese, and it's really loud. Everybody's hungry. We've got some applesauce here, and that is going to be supper. How's everybody feeling? Maria's excited for the mint cake. Emily? Mint cake. Mint cake. Amber, Tony? I'm excited. I'm for that one. Yeah, whatever's All the hot there. food. All the potato and hot. Just hot food. Everybody's happy for some food. So that's what we're going to do here tonight. Okay, everybody. It's the second day of deer season. Oh, my gosh. And now it's Jennifer's turn. I think, why does that look blurry? I don't know why. It, will that focus? I don't know. You it might be too dark. No, I think it's my eyes. Okay. <laughs> No. So it's Jennifer's turn to hunt this day. Second day of deer camp. She's packing her lunch. I'm making a lunch which is going to consist of three little meat sticks and a nutty bar. We got to shut that TV off in the background. Uh-huh. And I'm going to make some soup. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to take. No, I'm not the best videographer here, so you're going to have to bear with me. I got some breakfast going. Uh, that is sausage. We got scrambled eggs ready to go here. And in the oven we have tater tots. I don't know, tater tots for breakfast. But we're going to take tater tots and we're going to sprinkle cheese on them. So we're going to have cheesy tater tots, sausage, and scrambled eggs. And I'm making coffee and filling thermoses. Any any uh, pre-hunt advice? Me pre-hunt advice? <laughs> I just hope I can shoot straight and then I see the eleven pointer that Amber saw yesterday. That's All right. what I'm going for. <laughs> okay. So Amber is the next one it to bring. Right there in the middle. Really? Right yeah. in the lane, huh? And literally, because Tony just called me asking if I see anything. I was like, nope. And then I was like, there's a deer. So I put the phone down, put it up. I was like, oh, I think oh. it's a doe. See the spikes? And I was like, all right, I'll is take that it. Heart? Shot and it just dropped right there, Sorry, just kicking. The no, that's from my yeah, deer. That's from something else. And I put the phone nice. back up and I was like, I got it. <laughs> nice. So and she's the next one to add some venison to uh, the freezer. The nice Didn't deer. Go Didn't go yeah, 20. Didn't go 20. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do nice. All right, so I'm back in here. It's, I mean, I've been in for a little while, but I did make it and sat the whole day. Did not see one single deer, but there was some luck from other hunters. Warren already told me that he vlogged the uh, amber <laughs> uh, situation. And then we had another friend of ours. He came in with this nice big one. Uh, lighting is bad right now, sorry for that. Maybe I can get over here, but it is a 10 pointer and it has like a, 13 14 inch spread something like that so yeah that's a nice one too so it's been a, another good day